What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be learning the song Hangin' by a Thread by Day Rocks, which is like my new favorite song, so let's get into it. You are watching Logan's Lessons. Let's start with the intro of the song. We are starting with a D power chord. To play a D power chord, you will place your first finger on the fifth fret of your A string, your third finger on the seventh fret of your D string, and your pinky right below that on the seventh fret of your G. That is a D power chord. The second chord we have is really easy from here. It's a C sharp augmented chord, but all you have to do is move your first finger down a fret to the fourth fret of your A string. Your third and your pinky fingers stay on the seventh fret of their respective strings. That is a C sharp augmented chord. The third chord we have is a B power chord, which is your first finger on the second fret of your A string, your third finger on the fourth fret of your G, uh, I'm sorry, of your D string, and your pinky on the fourth fret of your G. Okay. Notice that this is the, the same shape as the first chord, just moved down to the second fret. Then the last chord carries the same shape, just on the third fret of our low E string, rather than the A. So you have your first finger on the third fret of your low E string, your third finger on the fifth fret of your A string, and your pinky on the fifth fret of your D. So we have a C, a C sharp augmented, a B, and a G. Now let's talk strumming pattern. The strumming pattern for this song is a down, 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 up. So, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Do that with me. One more time. Good, so that is the intro, but it also happens to be our post-chorus as well. Moving on, we have the pre-chorus. You start with the same power chord shape, but this time on the fifth fret of your low E string. So your index finger will be on the fifth fret of your low E string, your ring finger on the seventh fret of your A string, and your pinky finger on the seventh fret of your D. You play that down one time. Then you go back to the G power chord on the third fret of your low E string, and you play that chord up twice, and then back up to the fifth fret. You butt that ring out for a measure, and then you play down, 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 and that's the pre-chorus. Allow me to play it for you. Now do that with me. Great, now on to the chorus. You start on the fifth fret of our A string, the first chord in the song. You play that downwards twice like this. Then you slide that chord down a fret and you play that down once. Back up to the first chord, which you strum upwards. Back down to the fourth fret, and another down right there. So far. Do that with me. Then we're going down to the second fret, strummed upwards. So far. Do that with me. Next you slide up to the ninth fret and you play this chord up, down, up. That. Then you move up to a fret to the tenth fret and you play that down. Back down to the ninth fret, which is an up. Down to the seventh. That's a down. And then one last chord down on the 10th fret. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Nine, 10, nine, seven, 10. Do that with me. Faster. One more time. So the whole thing all together. Good, so that is the chorus. After you play that twice, you go into the post-chorus, which is just what we learned for the intro. The 
if I play the chorus and the post-chorus together. Very good. Now the only section we have left in this song is the outro. We start on an F sharp minor chord. To play that, you're going to bar across the second fret of all of your strings with your index finger. Then what you're going to do is place your third finger on the fourth fret of your A string and your pinky right below that on the uh, fourth fret of your D. So you just strum out that chord one time going up to a G major chord. To play a G major, we're just gonna take this same shape and bump every one of your fingers up a fret closer to your right hand, and then place your middle finger on the fourth fret of your G string. So you have the F sharp minor. Then to the G major, then you go back to the F sharp minor our first chord, the D major. Like that. So the outro is F sharp minor to G, F sharp minor to D. And that is how you play the song Hanging by a Thread. If you have a song request, please comment it. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit the bell. I sincerely hope that you're well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching Logan's Lessons.